Hello everyone. So I've gotten a lot of requests uh, about a certain mapping algorithm that I used to generate two-dimensional maps, and I figured I'd go ahead and share it. It's not a complicated algorithm, but it's very, very weird. So we're going to start at the bottom and implement it. Uh, this is the second take, because the first take I mysteriously muted my microphone after very carefully checking to make sure it wasn't muted. So uh, in this take, I plan to have the background noise be as loud as possible. Uh, this is a new scene. Let's go ahead and add the things we're going to need. We're going to need a plane. You could use a quad if you prefer, but it doesn't really matter. We're not exactly going to be stressing the limits of our rendering engine. And this camera here is off in the middle of nowhere or whatever, so let's go ahead and stick it somewhere where it can see the plane. Um, you know, we don't need it to be in perspective. Switch it to orthographic. Five, that's good. Yours probably isn't five. It's minus five because I set it to five last take. But you can see that it's very dark in the camera preview. We could add a light, but I actually would prefer to add a material which doesn't require being lit. Like so. Drag that on, and you can see that it brightened up considerably. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be painting our, our map onto this surface, but we need to actually implement that. So let's go ahead and create a new C-sharp script and stick it on there and open it up. Alright, so this is going to be a script that has a couple of things in it. First off, the next thing we need is a uh, Texture 2D. And then we need uh, then we need a giant stack of pixels. We're going to make a local copy of the pixels because otherwise there's a lot of slowdown. So we need to make the texture with the width and height we've specified. Then we need to set our mesh filters, mesh renderers uh, material to it. like so. Uh, and we also need to grab a local copy of all of our pixels. Like that. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and make sure this is working by putting in some paint. Now, obviously, we've just edited a local array. It has nothing to do with the map texture, so let's go ahead and set the map texture. Set the pixels to our pixels. Now, will that work? No, of course not, uh, it, because Unity has an extraordinarily slow image pipeline. Like, just incredibly slow. And I'm hoping that they fix that in their next 2D package, but for now, it's so slow that they put the image update as its own function so that you can uh, be very carefully not call it. There we go. So we're going to need a few functions for our basic functionality. One of them is getting an index. because we don't want to have to just type that every single time we ever want an index. The other thing we need to do is public color get color. So the reason that we're going to be using this function instead of referencing color, or instead of going like pixels 149 or whatever, uh, is because using this we can prevent ourselves from falling off the right side of the map and looping back around to the left or from having to check for bounds every single time we ever want to get any kind of color. So first thing we can do is check and see whether or not we are too far to the left and too far to the right. Just checking to make sure my mic was on there. The next thing we can do is get the index. 
then we can say if index is less than zero or index is greater than or equal to width times height, return color dot clear. Otherwise, return color, oh uh, sorry, return pixels index. That easy. We're going to need this exact same function again to do it the other way around. Set color. Uh, instead of being color here, it's going to be a bool, and instead of returning clear, we're going to return false. There you go. So those are the basics that we're going to need in order to create the images we want to create. There are a lot more things we need to do, but we're going to basically start to create a state machine. And I want that to be its own episode, so I'm going to stop now.